know about y'all, but I know about us and uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. I don't know about y'all, but I know about us and uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. It's the only way we were younger, you were mine. Gladys, aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel if you're new here please consider subscribing tap that button down below and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up what's good and welcome back Happy Monday, my loves. Hopefully we are all starting off the week very well. I know I normally start my week with y'all on Tuesday. It's between all Tuesday, but we got a special delivery. Look what I got. <laughs> so y'all know that synthetic waves have been dropping left and right for the past month or so. And it's only gonna continue because it's the holiday season. We're gearing up for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm trying to be holiday ready. And I thought, what better way than to cop some more Outre wigs? I did just drop a review on the other two wigs that are new from this series, Kamai and Lil Liliana's. I'll link that down below. Check that out after this video because I also discussed some of my favorite things I love about YouTube. And it seems like you all are enjoying that. So check that out. But yes, I'm interested to see what these two wigs are hitting like. At this point, Outre is definitely the top contender for me when it comes to synthetic wigs. I love how they do their coloring. I love that they're constantly trying new things. And with this melted hairline series, even better because they're giving you the frontal look for an affordable price. Like these wigs are $39. I'm excited to try them out. Let's see what they're looking like. I'm really excited about Seraphine right here, but I don't know about Harper. The style on Harper, I'm not too sure about her. We'll see. Also, before I start showcasing these wigs, if you're interested in the hair on my head, I will link this review down below. This is my Ali Pro curly wig in the 24 inches. It's a headband wig and I've been rocking her endlessly all throughout my vacation in Mexico. She's been holding up so nicely. These curls are popping and she just makes me feel like the true baddie that I am. Check that out. This is some really good human hair. And these earrings, y'all seem to be loving on my Instagram. These are from the Hoop Mob. And now you're able to actually sign up with them using my code, which I'll link down below. I think it's like $5 off your purchase, but it's a black owned earring business. Love that, check them out. All right, so if you are ready to see me style these wigs, show these wigs and give you my pros and cons and all that good stuff, keep on watching. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we have Miss Harper here. Ooh, okay, I'm here for this bounce, bounce, bounce. I have her in the DRFFA hazelnut honey color, and I noticed that whenever I do honey blondes like this, like a 30 color, y'all seem to like it on my skin, so I keep bringing them for you. Now, the thing about the Melted Hairline series, like I said, it has a frontal effect, so no, you cannot switch the parting space, it's not a full-on frontal, but the front, if you look here, you'll see the hairline is popping. I love this collection, y'all. And if you open the stock card here, you can see Harper in two other colors, dark and red velvet. It talks about the ear to ear lace, HD transparent lace. You know HD transparent lace became a thing in the synthetic wig world this year. I wasn't like a huge fan of it, except on Bobby Boss. I feel like that lace on Bobby Boss wigs were was actually thinner than regular lace, but it was ghastly white. This lace, however, it's like a khaki color. I'm gonna still have to tint it, but stay tuned because I will show you how I do all that in this video. The Harper here does come with your two small combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. It has this elastic band here. I don't think this band is really gonna do much for me. See, you have five inches of parting space here, and that frontal hairline looks glorious. I love how they do this. And you have these curls, the color looks good. You have the dark rooting. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited for these curls. Now for the lace, I am going to use my Ebon Tint Spray in the color Darkest Brown. It's linked down below. And I'm going to use my CoverGirl Foundation in the color D90. I've tried quite a bit of different things. And I've come a long way since I first reviewed like Sensational Wet Lace Audrey. Back then, girl, there was no tint spray, at least not that I was aware of. I found my holy grail and I'm sticking to it. So 
let me play some music for y'all, style this wig, and I'll be back with my thoughts. There's always that one person that will always have your heart. You never see it coming cause you're blinded from the start. Know that you're that one for me. It's clear for everyone to see. Oh, baby. Yeah. You gotta rock me yeah. uh, 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 Come on. I know about y'all, but I know about us. And uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. And uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. You remember, girl, I was the one who gave you your first kiss. Cause I remember, girl, I was the one who said, put your lips like this. Even before all the fame and people screaming your name. So I am back with Miss Harper from the Melted Hairline series in the color DR2 Hazelnut Honey. Let's get into the pros. Main pros of this unit absolutely is the color. Beautiful blonde color. I already know I like this color, so that was a given. Another pro is the hairline. I swear, this looks like a 13 by six frontal. Y'all see this, right? Come on, and the baby hairs are a little bit wispy. I don't usually lay my baby hairs, but they try to do a little something. They're creeping out a little bit. I only use free spray in this section right here just so that it would blend better and then you saw me go with the sharpie to blend this in because even though it comes with that ear contour here nine times out of ten i don't glue that part down so i just end up cutting it off i color it in with either a marker or a dark brown eyebrow pencil and then i'm done and i feel like it normally blends pretty well the most i might do here is just add a little bit of got to be glue and press this in just so that it's not flipping up because that's the thing with the corner pieces they always flip up so yes color and hairline is a 10. let's Cut to the cons. <laughs> and the cons to this unit are the curls. These curls are just all over the freaking place. And honestly, y'all, I knew that before I bought this unit. Looking at the stock card, and shout outs to Optre for making sure their stock card models look good because she looks good, but the hair itself, I don't know what the hell's going on in the stock card either. What? is this this side is what i want this is luscious beautiful bouncy curls but over here the curls start just doing their own thing like this one over here is cool this one is going this direction and this one's going this direction and then you have some of them here that aren't even fully curled the right way i think it's like they were trying to do layers and i just don't like this i don't like this side at all <sighs> It's disappointing because I see the potential. This is va va voom beautiful. What happened? I'll try to like, why does this side look like this? And you don't know how long I was playing with this before I got back on camera. I was like trying to, you know, brush out the curls because they did look very much like synthetic curls out the pack. And when you brush it out, it comes together. But this side just wasn't coming together. I know some people might actually like this type of curvature right here, but I don't. I'm very particular about my bang. I want my bang to go out this way in little like Farrah Fawcett type of layers. That's how I like my bangs to look. And I feel like in the past, I've just gotten more particular anyway, because before I might've been like, oh, it's not bad. But now there are so many options and I'm very good at picking out synthetic wigs that I like for myself. Nine times out of 10, I like like the wigs I choose for myself. I would say 10 out of 10, but you know, I've had a few flukes. This is why I did not want to buy Harper. I don't like how the curls are looking here. Like she, I, oh goodness Harper, you are almost perfect. Now on YouTube, you will find tutorials on people who curl them synthetic wigs with like hot water and perm rods and, and whatnot, but I'm not doing all that. I'm feeling pretty lazy right now, so I just wanted to kind of just melt my hairline and keep it pushing with this style. Harper did live up to my expectation. Like I knew that the color was gonna be pretty and the hairline was gonna be bomb, but I also knew that I was gonna have an issue with this style. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Are you feeling 
on this style because I think it's just a matter of preference. Everything I said is really more like a personal con, but some people don't mind curls like this, but I do. And honestly, I feel like the really the main con is the fact that it's not the same. It should be symmetrical. Like the curls on this side need to mimic the curls on this side, and it just doesn't on this unit. So that's what's good with Harper, but you know, I'm still gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna get to the wig. I'm really excited to try Seraphine. So if you're ready to see her, Keep on watching. All right, y'all, so I am back with Miss Seraphine in the 1B color. She's long, y'all. She's definitely like a good, probably like 22 inches. This is the type of style I like. It reminds me of one of my favorite synthetic wigs, Bobby Boss Kylie. She has a style similar to this. The texture is feeling, I would say like a light yakky texture. It feels good, it doesn't feel super silky, which I'm glad. Same type of cap construction with your two combs in the front, comb in the back, adjustable strap, and elastic band here. I also tend to delay with my tint spray, but y'all know I am gonna go in with my CoverGirl foundation as well to further blend it. I feel like I'm really gonna like this one. Let's toss her on, shall we? I swear, this tint spray does wonders. Evan tint spray, I'm so glad that you're in my life for real. You just make lace blending so much easier for your girl. I'm getting some shedding with this wig, but please remember this is synthetic, okay? Synthetic wigs eventually shed, they eventually tangle, they're not real human hair, but even human hair can shed sometimes, so please don't be discouraged if you see that your synthetic wig is shedding. Although there is such thing as too much shedding on a synthetic wig. This has a little hump here, so I'm gonna use some heat to flatten that down. So one thing I def notice about this wig is that compared to Altre Kamaya, this wig is definitely on the light yakky side for sure. Whereas Altre Kamaya felt like textured hair that had been like flat iron. If you are a fan of textured hair, Kamaya is definitely your girl because she's like a more toned down Nisha in my opinion. But if you're here for the light yakky, then Serapine is your girl. Just know that because Serapine is a lighter yakky texture, she is going to be a little bit more prone to tangling. That's how it is with synthetic wigs. The closer they are to a silkier texture, the quicker they are likely to tangle. So just keep that in mind if you are a newbie to synthetic wigs. Now right here, I'm just trying to blend this and I'm trying to see if I can wear this glueless for real, for real. And I feel like I can. I am in front of a window right now because I wanted y'all to see what it would look like. Yeah. Yo, I swear, I love this Melted Hairline series. But I am gonna trim off some of that lace because I don't really need that lace there. I know some of y'all be scared to cut sometimes, but literally what's the worst that could happen, y'all? Just go ahead and trim the lace off. You'll be all right. Wow, this is pretty. Okay, so I am getting more shedding. Seraphine is a shedder. <laughs> I'm realizing it more and more. Like, oh my God. There's a lot, did I cut into the lace? Did I? Did I cut too close? I don't think I did. Not when I was cutting her. Why is so much hair coming out? Okay. So, Seraphine is definitely pretty, y'all. She's very pretty. I'm wearing her to the side right now. And she's coming down on me. Wow, way past my breast. She's coming down like a 26 inch wig. There is more and more shedding. I'm really looking forward to other people's reviews on this wig because Seraphine is shedding like a dog on me right now. She's shedding as if I cut into her. Am I going crazy? Like I'm pretty sure I did not cut into her. But she looks really good. Am I liking her better than Kamaya right now? No. <laughs> I am going to apply just a little bit of got to be glue. I was going to try to wear a glue list, but I don't know. This lace is lifting a little bit over here, so I'm just going to put the got to be. It's fine. What I normally do is just lift it up here and apply a, a thin layer and press it back down like so. I'm only going to put it in that section. back with Miss Seraphine in the 1B color. And let's just dive right into my pros. Y'all, let me get up close. Off the bat, look at this. Look at this hairline, y'all. Look at how natural this is. I did apply a little bit of got to be glue here. I didn't use the bed head spray this time. Y'all saw me use the foundation to blend it. I mean, it looks effortless. I did not lay this part down. Instead, I used 
a brown eyebrow pencil this time filled it in and kept it pushing but this looks so good the parting space looks super natural like this looks like it's coming up my scalp come on oh my goodness this looks so freaking good i'm telling you outre y'all are on to something with this melted hairline series please keep coming out with wigs from this series please because i'm here for it 39 dollars will have you looking like you have straight bundles on your head i mean come through. So the hairline is the, the biggest pro to me of this unit. I also do like the style. I like wigs with long layers like this. I think it's very pretty. I definitely am feeling this style more than Harper. To be honest, I just so the two different curls on Harper was really throwing me through a loop, but this is this is much better. Another pro is also the cap size and just the general construction. I think this wig is definitely well made and it's going to fit a variety of head sizes. Now, as far as the concept unit, I would mainly say it's just the shedding. I feel like I'm getting way more shedding than Harper and than any of the other melted hairline wigs I have tried. And I've tried quite a few. I will link them all down below so you can check it out. I don't know if it has to do with the texture, this light yakky, almost silky texture, I can't tell, but that is a con for me. Overall, I do like Seraphine better than Harper, but not better than Miss Kamai. Kamai is giving me everything I need and more, and I really need to get her in a natural color. Outre, if you're watching, please make more wigs in the same exact texture as Kamaya for the Melted Hairline series. If this style had Kamaya's texture, I would probably be even more in love. Because I think this is very pretty, but Kamaya just sets it off for me. I see why she is a fan favorite. Also, just to let y'all know, I did wear this to the side because I think it's time for me to get my braids redone and it just wasn't looking right in the middle. <laughs> I'm a middle part kind of girl. I really would love this in the middle. I already know it, but your girl gotta get her hair done underneath also another calm for some people maybe the density this wig is definitely on the thinner side me personally i don't mind a lighter density wig i don't mind this but i know some of you do like more weight to your units you like more thickness to your units so this is all the hair to the front some of y'all probably will not be happy with that so i just wanted to let y'all know the density for some people is going to be a little skimp but for me it's fine i'm fine with it i like it but yeah seraphine She's cute. So let me know what you think about Seraphine and Harper. Which one of these two from the Melted Hairline series is your favorite? Y'all already know my favorite is Kamaya overall. She reigns supreme right now from this collection. And she's definitely becoming like one of my favorite synthetics of the year. I don't know what Al should be doing to me, but... <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. These newer wigs that just came out from this collection, they're cute, don't get me wrong, but they do have their cons and I'm not like in love with them. I'm not fawning over them. But of course, this hairline is to die for and that alone is a winner. I highly consider, even if you don't pick up these newer units, definitely look at the collection as a whole, any style from Melted Hairline Collection because the construction alone is just bomb to me and it just reminds me of how far synthetic wigs have come. I remember when synthetic wigs had this like boxy hairline i remember the whole invisible part you know what i mean but now if you were to look at me you might be thinking i'm rocking some human hair for real for real so shout out to outre for continuing to do the lord's work in these wig streets okay <laughs> And if you're new here, tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We are on our way to 20K and I'm so excited for that. So consider joining the family. And if you wanna see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Shout out to my premiere party for watching this with me. Woo woo! Shout out to all of you who have been supporting my channel and I will see you in the next video.